do you want to learn how to use durable.co? This is an AI website builder that builds your website in just 30 seconds. In this video, I'll help solve that problem. So first head over to durable.co. I've put the link in the description. You can check it out. And once you're on this page, you can click on start for free. Now it will take you to this page where it says, what type of business are you building? So I'm just going to enter in pet accessories. Now I've typed in pet accessories. So I'm just going to click on next. And after that, it's going to ask you, where is your business located? This is where you're trying to drop ship your items to. So if your business is located in US or UK, you can enter it here. Once you have entered the location where your business is located, click on next. Now it will ask you your name of your business. You can enter the name of your business or if you are not sure, you can click on this, see some suggestions. Because we entered that we are doing a business of pet accessories is going to suggest us some names which are related to that business. To be honest with you, I do not like any of these. So you can just regenerate it or you can use a second method, which I'm going to show you next, which is using chat GPT. So here in chat GPT, I've just typed in, I'm starting a business around pet accessories. So just me 25 best business names should be no longer than 12 characters long. And it's going to give you business name ideas for your pet accessories brand. And these are much better than the ones durable.co suggested. I'm just going to take one of them. I'm going to take this 25th one, which is Cozy Paws. And go inside this, go back, enter the name of your business. I'm going to type in Cozy Paws and generate the website. Now it's going to generate the website right in front of you with AI. It's going to build the website in real time. All the pictures are set, the images, text, everything. It says your website is ready and it's going to ask you for sign up. I'm just going to sign it with Google because as you know, the sign up process with Google is much faster compared to using an email. Now I can edit the website. I can click on this and it's going to give you a logo pop-up section. It has text plus icon. I can deselect the text and just use the icon. So I can enter my, I can uh, use my logo image or I can let AI choose for us. So click on this and it's going to make a logo for us. This one looks good. And I can also add text next to it like this, cozy pause. Choose a font that you want to use. I suggest going with poppins, but here I'm not able to find the poppins. So I'm just going to use Pacifico, which also looks good for a pet accessories brand. Now, once done, just click on done can restyle this first section and it's just going to restyle it in a few different styles with the AI. Now down here we have got add section. This is another section with this text here. I can click this and change the headline, change the sub, uh, subtext or I can use AI to regenerate this headline and subtext. I can even add the tagline with AI as well. Just choose the tone of voice. These are the personalities that they have currently with the AI. I'm just going to choose any of them and generate. Now down here, we've got buttons. So you can uh, add a button to link to a page, phone number or email or section. You can add another button like this and you can change the website link from here. You can also make it so that when someone clicks it, it's going to open in another tab. Now down here, there's an image gallery. I can click on this add section and add a banner, services, content, clients, uh, image gallery, video content, and all of these. Let's say I want to add a video content. So I'm going to click this and display a YouTube or Vimeo video. I'm just going to click this and it's going to make us a section where we can display a video. So I can click here and add the video link. I'm just going to go to YouTube and select any of these videos on the home page. Here, select the co copy the link, go back into durable.co and in the link address, I'm just going to paste that. And just like that, our video has been set on the front page. Now you can add another section. You can add a schedule section, which uh, will be using Calendly, which allows customers to book meetings. So you need a Calendly account for this to work. Press on this and then you can add a Calendly link here. Enter the Calendly link by clicking here and it's going to open this pop-up which says Calendly link. 
you need to enter the username. Let's say I enter one of mine. This is my Calendly link and it shows up over here and I can press on done. And I have set my Calendly link in durable.co. Now these uh, image galleries, I can select them and change the images for each one of them. Or I can regenerate with AI. These are not specifically AI images, but you can regenerate and it's going to take in the image again from one of the platforms like Getty Images or Pexels. And here, if I click on replace, these are some suggestions. I think these are the suggestions that it takes when you click on regenerate. And then in Getty Images, this is another platform where you can get these stock photos from. You can just select any of them. This is the one that they currently are using on the front page. You can just change to something else. And then we got Unsplash as well. This is a free stock photo website, which you can use. I'm just going to select one of them and insert. And there you go. All text is needed because your image can end up in Google search image section, which is good. It will help you with the SEO. Now down here, we've got another section. You can click on this and change the content of this text. Here, this is a slider. This is testimonial slider. You can change the testimonials by clicking on these icons and change the testimonials by image. You can set the image of the person as well, like this. And, and it's a very intuitive interface. Like you can just click on anything and change it. I can just go down, I can change the this footer section. I can, if I want to change this uh, logo, I can just click on this and I can uh, use same as header or you can make it a custom logo for our footer section. And this is a button which they have already selected while the AI was generating the website. You can uh, link it to a page, external email or phone. Social links, you can add social links here. And if you want to disable made with durable, you need to upgrade to a premium plan. Let's say we are in the footer and we want to switch to style. We can switch the style and change the colors from here. We can make it uh, custom, change the background and such of the footer. Now, once we are done with this, let's look at the top bar where we will find we are currently on the home page. And on the left hand side, you can click on this home icon to go to the dashboard, uh, the customize, you can change the template change the template to some other theme, or you can regenerate the whole template with the AI. There's colors. You can change the colors of the entire template from here. Then we got buttons. So the button styling, if you want the buttons to have a shape of square or a pill, you can do that. Change the size of the buttons, solid or outline. These type of things can be done with this. And let's go down other, other styles. You can have rounded uh, corners for your images on your website. The animations, when you load your website, do you want all the elements to fade in, zoom out, zoom in, slide up, slide left. These type of animations are there. Then there is speed. Do you want the animations to come in slowly or fast? Then this is browser icon. This is your favicon on the top. When you load a website, there's a favicon on top. You can, uh, you can add an icon from here. Upload, an, uh, upload a favicon icon. This can be in PNG or ICO format and has to be under one MB. Now let's click on customize again. We have got widgets. You can add a cookie notice, messenger chat, telegram button, WhatsApp button. These are available. Let's say I add a cookie notice. This is the cookie notice that has been added. And in the widgets, I can edit this cookie notice section. I can change the message, the style, the button text, show an editor and such. Now this is regenerate is the same thing. It's going to regenerate the entire website. Now next to customize, we have pages. If you click this, we have got a home page that is currently selected. You can manage the pages from here, create a page, pa create a folder, create a blog post and such. With the regenerate, I forgot to tell one thing. When you click on regenerate, it's going to regenerate the whole entire website. The only thing that will remain unchanged will be the blog section. None of your blogs will get affected with this and the action is irreversible. Now in the in the pages, let's create a new page and uh, we can start with a new a blank page or create a blog page or an about or contact on these uh, these type of pages you can create. Let's select one of them. Let's uh, create a blog post page and it automatically creates a page for us with the new post 
and under it we have got write a post about we've got these options so let's say top 10 must have pet accessories for new pet owners we'll select this generate it automatically sets the featured image start writing the post right in front of you with ai and even sets the h2 and h3 headings and the featured image of your blog post once done click on save and post is saved now let's go back in the blog this is your blog section people can search on your blog now once you're done with this let's click on preview check our website how it looks like in the front end this is how it looks like when the customer reaches your website then they see how your website looks like once done just click on the publish button and it's going to give you this surprising pop-up page you can sign up for the starter plan for most of your use cases starter plan would be more than good enough with the yearly plan you're going to save 20 percent the business plan costs $25 per month, starter plan costs $15, and the last plan which is Mogul, which, which costs like $95 per month. If you're just starting out, starter plan is more than good enough. Now let's go back to dashboard by clicking on this home icon, and it's going to take us back to this dashboard page. This is our domain that Durable has created for us because we do not have our custom domain set up yet. And for setting up a custom domain, you would need to subscribe to a plan on durable.co. They've got automations, brand kit. You can generate a brand kit. It's going to generate the logo and everything for you with the AI. And if you see just the text here on the logo section, just go over here, regenerate. And it's going to show you the logos that it, it, that it can create for you. And once you like one of them, just select and use selected. Invoicing is there. You can create an invoice. This is also in a paid plan. You've got automations, the business settings, enter your address, your name, contact, business email, and such. You've got a built-in CRM inside Durable.co, which is a co add contacts to the CRM. Anyone who signs up on your website would be showing up on this page. Website contact form. You can add a contact form to your durable.co and whenever someone signs up on there, you're going to get leads, which will show up on this page. Then on the website section, you will see the websites that you have created with AI. This is the one website that we have created. You can publish the website, add social media channels. The blog, we al already have created a blog on this. You can edit the website from here. And then we've got analytics. How many users are currently online? The online users is going to show the live view of it. All of this that you're currently seeing right now is sample data, which is going to change once you, know, once you start getting in traffic from your audience. Then next to it, we've got optimize. This is keywords for SEO. It has already generated us many keywords. You can suggest new keywords with AI or add a keyword on your own manually. Claim a custom domain, which you can do from here. But for this, you need to go on a paid plan use the domain that I own. Again, you need to go to the paid plan for this. With any of these paid plans, you're going to get a domain free. So for the starter plan, you're going to get a domain name, which is up to $15. And for business plan, you're going to get a domain name free, which is going to be up to $30, which I think is with starter plan, you can get a .com domain name. And with business plan, you can get a much higher price domain name, which could be a .co or equivalent. Now let's go back from here. Just click on cross and this these are the settings for your website you can add a custom code header code footer code uh, clear the cache from here regenerate your website from this side and uh, put your website in search indexing and if you don't want the google bing or other search tools to index your website you can change this and disable it so that no search tools can index your website this is the first page so when someone comes to your website where do you want to take them to when they enter on your website you can uh, click it click this and it's going to give you a drop down currently it's, uh, currently it says home but if you have created a page another page let's say we added in blog page we can make it so that when someone comes to your website they'll be re redirected to the blog page and not the home page let's select blog from here and this is how you can create a website with ai in just 30 seconds with durable.co 
Did this video help solve your problem? Let me know in the like and comment.